Okay, so it's now 7.02, so we'll get started. Essentially, um, I'll, I'll still give a couple minutes uh, while people are joining in, but uh, I'll start by presenting uh, myself and uh, who I represent. So essentially, my name is Louis-Philippe uh, Bougie-Bastien. I'm an optometrist uh, in Dorval at IM Eye Care. Um, essentially, IM Eye Care is in the optical uh, business. Eye care, um, we provide eye care naturally. And um, we have four locations, one uh, in Dorval, one in Montreal, one in Boucherville, and another one in Quebec City. Uh, and from the moment uh, I am was open back in uh, 2016, the, the idea behind um, the our philosophy is to bring innovations to improve patients' uh, outcome, uh, improve patient comfort um, through technology. So uh, in the first early goings of I am, uh, one of the main uh, axis of uh, expertise we developed was um, dry eye and dry treatments, not only just you know, tossing drops at patients, but treating the root cause through treatments like at first was lippy flow, and eventually we turned towards uh, IPL treatments, um, radio frequency, PRP. So they're all treatments that uh, not only treat uh, dry eyes, but it treats the root cause of it. Uh, and why are people suffering of dry eyes? Because we, we've turned to screens, uh, you know, a number, uh, the number of hours we spend on screens since uh, 2010 has been, you know, increasing year by year. And um, so that's why we want to innovate and show you why we brought in uh, the NeuroLens technology. Um, so when we talk about uh, NeuroLens beyond 2020 vision, um, what we mean is, uh, you know, the, the classic exam when you see an optometrist use uh, this instrument back here, we check the vision, we do the refraction, and we, uh, we figure out what numbers you need to see clearly. A lot of attention, a lot of lenses have been developed to, um, to, to, to really correct that vision, but not so much effort has been put in, you know, how, how are the eyes working together? How are the eyes uh, working at fusing together? So that's where the neural lens comes in and can actually help your eyes uh, function as a pair uh, better. So uh, on to uh, the first slide here. Um, let me just switch over. There you go. So as I was saying, patients spend up to 13 plus hours per day looking at screens and uh, patients are more symptomatic than ever. So patients are suffering of um, uh, headaches, eye strain, uh, neck and shoulder pain, uh, motion sickness, dry sensation, and light sensitivity. All those symptoms are experienced by 80% of patients that's, that spend time on the computer. And three quarters of those patients feel it at least once a week. Uh, and it has a big impact, not only on the quality of life, but it does slow down your production at work. A lot less productivity when you're dealing with headaches, uh, you're dealing with uh, you know, blurry vision uh, and stiff neck, stuff like that. So um, patients, and we only figured this out, like not the, you know, when we first started doing the, the neural lens questionnaire to every patient. So when you come in, we do a questionnaire, that ask about all those symptoms. And uh, essentially, a lot of patients will not tell their eye care provider. So they won't tell the optometrist they have all these symptoms because they don't link you know, the stiff neck, uh, the headaches to the, to the fact it could be their eyes. Instead, they're turning to uh, other professionals. They talk about it to their GP, uh, to their chiropractor, uh, to the, their physiotherapist, massage therapist, medication, uh, getting Botox injection to relax the muscles around the eyes. Uh, and in the end, all those are nice. They work well, but they don't fix the root cause. So you'll be forever going back to those chiropractor and physiotherapy sessions because you're not fixing the root cause, which is the eye straining all day. Um, so next slide. So what, when I was telling you guys about before, you know, the, the clarity in the vision versus the alignment, when you look on the left here, you see uh, visual uh, clarity. Uh, so you're seeing 2020 vision. That's what we provide with the, the, the refraction. So we've been, been putting a lot of effort as optometrists in making the vision clear, but very little um, effort was put into uh, helping the patients align better. So if you look on the right hand side, you see the green lines are where the eyes need to turn in order not to see double. So when when you're you're straining straining your eyes all day to look at a screen when in fact most people 90% of patients 
don't want to be turning the eyes in all day. It's putting a lot of stress on the eyes. So they, the eyes would love to diverge a little more and look further out. Um, so that, that difference between where the eyes need to sit versus where they would love to sit, that's really putting a, taking a toll on the eyes. And that's, that's the root cause of all those symptoms uh, we saw just before. So why is it irritating? Essentially, there's a nerve called the trigeminal nerve that gets a signal from the eye, the inner ear, and the face. It's in fact, it's responsible for gathering a lot of uh, uh, sensory data from the face. And when the eyes are always uh, misaligned, there's a, a constant irritation in the trigeminal nerve and the, the proprioception is off and it's, it's causing a neural conflict. So uh, this is a nice diagram of all the nerves, but essentially, a proprioceptive mismatch between misaligned eyes and the vestibular system uh, creates a neural conflict. And that's the root cause of uh, the symptoms we saw before. So when we do a uh, neural lens test, I'll explain to you a little bit more before uh, afterwards how we, how we go about measuring it out. But essentially we get different types of results. You see here, uh, patients, there's three types of patients. The majority of, like I was saying before, tend to want to have the eyes when you're looking at a distance, you know, if you close the eyes or if you relax, they just want to wander out of it. And that's their sweet spot where they like to sit. Uh, and then when they try to read on the computer or read up close, they don't want to be, the eye doesn't want to be, uh, converging. Okay. So we, we call that a convergent insufficiency. So the eyes don't want to turn in all day they would love to sit more divergent. So that's the left-hand side. Um, so it's we call it exo-exo. So at distance and at near, the eyes want to be in exophoria. Uh, the other type of result, uh, a little le less uh, frequent. So it's the eyes turning in at a distance and outwards at close or turning in at a distance and not enough in uh, at close. So all those can be improved with different prisms. Uh, that will alleviate the, the strain that, that we need to put on our eyes to keep that ocular alignment. So essentially why, you know, what's so special about neural lens uh, prisms is the prism is actually different between the top and, and, and the bottom. So for years, if we wanted to put patients uh, in prisms, if we gave them the sufficient prism for close, well, it was too much for distance. So we would always either have to have uh, one pair for distance, one for close, uh, or just not have them on. Um, Cause it, sorry. Um, okay. So the, the neural line, neural lens process, uh, when you, um, when you walk into the clinic, the first thing we do for all patients is that we, um, we do a, a questionnaire about all those symptoms we discussed and see how uh, severe it is for you. Um, so we, we grade and we decide, you know, so depending on the symptoms, we decide if we spend time to, at assessing how well the eyes are lined up. So we take the neural lens uh, instrument. So by putting the neural lens um, diagnostic instrument, we can actually determine the exact quantity of prism that's needed for the eyes to, uh, when, when they're at distance, when they're near and with a lot of precision. So we get uh, hundreds of data points and not, not like uh, we used to, to, to measure out with the Ferrocter, we used to use uh, this thing here and have images, you know, line up the images ver vertically, horizontally, and it was a very subjective process and we could never get a very precise reading because the patient was answering, oh, I think it's lined up now. Oh, no, it's not lined. So it's never really as precise as this. Now, with this, we can, we can determine the prism by a, a hundredth of a, a diopter. So uh, it's very, very precise. And that way we can prescribe very small prisms uh, that, that, that give a lot of relief. So the, the, the whole uh, assessment part takes about three minutes. It depends how well the eyes uh, are, are um, uh, how, how well you do the test. But if the test is not performed um, um, very well, the instrument will, not, will actually give us a um, quality index and say, well, the test is not reliable enough, let's repeat it. So uh, it's very repeatable. If we had to repeat the same test on the same person back to back, you probably would have the exact same reading um, 
even if you repeated it uh, at the beginning of the day or at the end of the day. So it's very, very, very precise in that sense. Uh, so once we get that value from uh, the NeuroLens uh, diagnostic uh, instrument, we can actually prescribe. So that's where we see, you'll see the optometrist, we get the, the proper prescription and uh, we'll determine exactly what the, the optimal prism is. Um, so how it all plays out, once you come out of the exam room with the optometrist, um, you'll have, you know, the optometrist will tell you if you need a single vision lens. So that's usually patients 43, 45 and under. So you, you have one lens that has one power all, you know, in terms of, of uh, refraction from the top to the bottom. And then you'll have the prism uh, put into that single vision lens, or you can have a uh, computer glass or a, a palace for progressive addition lens. So you can have progressives or computer lenses put in uh, with the neural lens. Um, the adaptation usually is quite easy. Uh, we haven't, um, it, it essentially it takes two to four weeks to, to, to know if you're full, you know, if you, you can adapt. Uh, full benefits are felt usually the first few days, but it can take up to, you know, six to eight weeks to really feel the full relief uh, on the, on the um, in terms of symptoms. Uh, if you fail to adapt to the neural lens, um, you know, 24 out of 25 patients will adapt well and keep the lenses because they see the benefits of them. Uh, but if you're that one person out of 25 that fails to adapt, we do offer a switch into another product uh, of equal quality made by Nikon. And if there's a price difference, we do, you know, gladly we'll reimburse uh, if there is an over expenditure uh, with the neural lens. Now, the therapeutic benefits, like I told you, it can take a few weeks to really kick in to have the, the, the full benefits, but essentially across the board, all the symptoms we talked about before, um, you'll get 80 to 90% uh, improvement. Uh, I can't promise, we can't promise patients it's going to be perfect, but that's because that's not true. You'll still get some headaches sometimes, but 80 to 90% uh, improvement in symptoms of headaches, motion sickness, light sensitivity, uh, tired eyes. I mean, that's a huge amount just by uh, incorpor incorporating uh, the, the, the contoured prism in the lens. So um, very exceptional, very um, impressive. Uh, and this is all, it's not just numbers put up in the air. It's, it's all uh, research based uh, on the um, made by neural lens. Uh, another research that's very interesting is uh, when um, patients were um, uh, were put on um, neural lens uh, versus a standard uh, versus a standard lens. Uh, there is an increase in the number of words that could be read per minute, uh, seventy percent higher versus the control group. Um, so th that's, that speaks to me that it really helps the eyes fuse together. Um, a few, uh, a few studies, uh, you know, all the, all the neural lens, uh, studies, all the neural lens data, everything's based on, uh, on science essentially. So, um, First, one of the first research search that, that opened the eyes to develop neural lens is the one that came out in 20, 2009, saying uh, glasses with basin prisms were uh, effective at alleviating symptoms with patients with symptomatic convergence and insu insufficiency. So patients that had a hard time convergence that wanted to diverge uh, were, were, um, were, uh, alleviating, were alleviated of their symptoms by the, uh, by the prisms. In uh, 2018, um, another study showed that over 80% 80 80 of patients who experienced headaches on a daily basis or almost daily basis had positive response to contoured prism. Um, and this one is, it goes a bit with what I said before, small horizontal prism correction can provide significant relief in symptomatic patients. So essentially what it means, we used to prescribe prisms only to patients that had very large deviation. So when you had patients that had double vision, uh, we could clearly see the eyes deviate a lot. So we'd give, you know, three, four, five, ten, ten diopters and prisms. 
Uh, so we wait really to have a big issue before uh, giving prisms. Now with the precision that the NeuroLens diagnostic uh, equipment gives, we get such a precise measurement that we started prescribing smaller prisms and studies show that it's not so much the quantity of prism, but it's the quality and the, the precision in the prism that's important. Um, now, study from 2022, prescribing contoured prisms to uh, patients with uh, dry eye disease results in statistic, statistic, statistically significant decrease in uh, OSDI score. What's the OSDI score? It's a, um, it's a questionnaire essentially that tells that the patient feels and it gives us an, an, a, a number and how dry the eyes feel on a day-to-day -day basis. Um, so that goes hand in hand with, uh, you know, what we do here at IM and treating uh, dry eyes. We all, this helps a lot with patients that have what we call uh, pain with no stain. So it's patients that have pain in the eyes, but the eyes are perfectly clear. There's actually no dryness. It's because they have issues with their uh, trigeminal dysphoria. So they need neurolens. Uh, and the last one essentially tells you that, uh, you know, over a long, long period of time, the lens, the, the prism that's put in the lenses stays there. Um, it, after a full year of wear, there's less than a, a third of a part prism diopter change in the prescription. So it means that you won't be changing your glasses, your neural lens every three to six months because the, the prescription's uh, changing in that lens. It's going to be stable over time. So referring a patient to IM, uh, what it means, essentially we, we like to treat patients, uh, treat patients the root cause of their issues and not just scratch the surface and uh, give them, uh, you know, here's some lubricating drops, here's some uh, glasses that might work. We like to go to the root cause and fix the symptoms uh, from the get-go from where they, they, they arise from. I hope that was not uh, delivered too quickly. I, I tend to go quite fast when I host uh, webinars. Is Are there any questions we we didn't have? Unfortunately, we didn't have as many attendees as, as I would have hoped, but um, is there any questions from the attendees? All right, I see anything in the Q&A, no questions. So feel free to uh, call in and uh, make an appointment if you want more information. We do have also Nida Kuri, uh, our optician on the um, on the call today. So if you, uh, if you have any questions, you can call in tomorrow, you can book an appointment. Uh, you will be getting an email with a discount to apply on uh, NeuroLens. Uh, on neural lenses. Um, and that's pretty much it. Thank you. Thanks for being there.